Hello and thank you for viewing. Today we have an opportunity to complete 11 roll challenges today instead of just 9. And how we're going to do that is when we are at 8 of 9 roll challenges completed, we're going to complete all 3 collector roll items simultaneously. Now that includes 6 collectibles collected, 3 collectibles found with a shovel, and 3 family heirlooms found. Well in order to do that you're going to need to know how to determine which heirlooms can be found with a shovel. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This is the Gene Ropke map. There's a link down in the description. If you're not familiar with this map, you definitely want to get familiar with this map. And what you're going to want to do is open up the map. You can open it on a web browser or on your phone if your phone's good enough, I think. I've never used it on my phone. I always use a web browser. So you can probably use it on your phone too, I would imagine. So but then hide all and then scroll down and turn heirlooms on, family heirlooms. Now you can see it shows all the family heirloom locations. But if you go down to tool type, you could select shovel only. But if you do that, you'll see here there are none available today for shovel only. I don't know if that's ever even an option. So switch to metal detector only. And now it shows you the locations which require a metal detector and inherently a shovel as well. So you can see there are three family heirlooms that require a shovel. And you don't have to actually go and get all three of these. You could pick two other ones up, shovel two other different things up, like some coins or something. Get yourself to the point where by shoveling up just one of these will end up giving you your sixth collectible collected, your third heirloom found, and your third item found with the shovel all at once. And also something to note if you're not familiar with this map, up at the top of the map you see a timer counting down. It says 1103, 15, 14, tick, tick, tick. That is how long until the collection locations reset. Once that timer ticks down to zero, it will reset back to 24 hours and refresh all the new locations in the game for collectibles. So, you know, make sure you're paying attention to that. You don't want to end up setting a marker for something with only three minutes left and then run there and find out it's not there because the timer reset while you're on your way. And also, you know, keep in mind too, you know, I'm doing this in the morning. So 11 hours from now, these locations will change. So definitely don't go off the locations I'm showing you here. Go visit the website and check the locations for yourself to make sure they're current to the time that you're doing it. And I thought about just taking a screenshot of these locations and posting it up on Twitter or whatever, but I figured it was much more valuable to you in order to show you how to determine these locations on your own rather than me just doing it for you, you know, Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. So I hope this helps you out. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.